I guess I had an interest in history from an early age and I was always looking at things and wondering what they looked like before. And I had a sense of the past as a kind of magical and interesting place. And then I discovered that I could recreate it, I could make it from scratch. And there's a sort of power to that, to be able to actually build from nothing. My intention was to try and bring everything that was known about what L'Enfant and George Washington intended for the city of Washington, D.C. into one piece. And then I thought that it would be interesting to do another painting showing what became of that. And then I had a great piece of luck in that Mr. Small was interested. It fitted with works that interested him and his amazing collection of Washingtoniana, and he commissioned the works. No one had brought together all the information about L'Enfant's plan. It had never been combined into an image. There's an awful lot written, but not much known. The key document that we used in the creation of these paintings is L'Enfant's plan, which is in his own hand, which is in the Library of Congress. And I examined that at, in great detail. That's the record of what he wanted for DC. I looked at things that L'Enfant would have known things that he would have seen. He was born in France. His father was in charge of the Gobelin Tapestry Factory. Um, he, he was brought up at Versailles. So those were clues to putting his words, changing his words into three-dimensional form. People remember things and understand things much better if there's a visual image. So it's an important way of understanding history. And I think for lots of people, history is a collection of images. In one image you can encapsulate a whole heap of things that are going on and hold it in your mind forever.